Happy Saturday. So today we're going to have an adventure out in Disney World. And uh, I, we kind of owe you an apology because we've been trying to incorporate our home lives, especially on the weekends, on days that we are going out to Disney World. So it's not just like a vlog of us going out to Disney World, Universal, out to the world. So, um, but it's already 5.30. I do not know, understand how it's this late already, but we've had a very productive day. Sarah edited a vlog. I cleaned a bunch, hung out with the boys. We got the boys down for naps. Sarah's actually trying to get Teddy on for another nap. And we live streamed, got Encanto on, have a lot of things going on. Wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> it's just you. Um, and we're gonna go if everything works out, we're trying to fit a lot of stuff into three hours where the idea is to go to Epcot, even just to do Grand Fiesta Tour and like one or two booths of, of food and wine, and then go over to Fantasmic at, at House Studios. But depending on how the rest of the packing and getting in the car goes, we may just have to cut it and go straight to House Studios, which boo-hoo, right? Like, ah, oh, that's still pretty awesome. You see the bananas? Do you want one? You don't really like bananas. <laughs> a decent rain. I mean, I mean, I expect rain in Florida. Like this late? That's kind of different. Um, also, I feel like our night now is a kerfuffle. <laughs> so now you're like still you know, not like sure. A preliminary plan that we're not well, like eighty percent on. But that twenty percent is messing with us. Strong twenty percent is messing with us. Not every day I get to take the stairs down from the boardwalk lobby down to the grass. But Sarah's down here, I believe, with the kids. So I dropped them off and then I went to go park the car. I gotta find her. I'm gonna gotta decide where we're going because I still think we're up in the air if we're gonna do, oh, they're doing some, uh, some art shopping. B. R. Guest. Be our guest to bed. Our service to the desk. We're back in our, uh, Love and Beauty and the Beast era. Wow, look at this little city. Wow, that is our place. That's the Drake. That's where we're literally like we got engaged right there. Oh my gosh. You see Bow? Food and wine, food and wine. Everybody loves food and wine. Also, James is James is beginning to be the biggest kid in the land. Not only does do we consistently get asked if he has a ticket, because he needs a ticket once he turns three in November, but now that was a first. He security was like, hey, can this young man uh, get out? Because uh, he's got to walk through security or through the metal detector. So we had to let James out and have him walk with me through. So. I'm sure it's going to become a regular. We've heard that before in the crowds of like, if they can walk, they need to get up and go through the metal sector, which we appreciate safety. But man, these kids are getting older. They always said that was going to happen. And it's starting. One, two, three. <laughs> Sir, you got your umbrella? What did I declare needed to be your very first food and wine item? Fisherman's pie. It's back in the Ireland booth. It's my favorite food item at all. Ever. We're gonna each get our own. Wow, we got our favorite table. Two pies. And what is this called? A lava cake? It's the boys' first food and wine items as well because I did not share my fries the other day because they were playing and sleeping. It is fighting me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jamesy. Ooh yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> I'm done. What do you guys think about it? Us keeping a fisherman's pie counter for the season. I'm thinking I'm gonna have at least twelve. It's my absolute favorite. I'm so glad it's back at the festival. 
Um, Sarah and I are dividing and conquering. Teddy really needs to go down for a nap. So Sarah's gonna try to rock him and head to Flavors of Fire. So James and I are gonna walk on over to the Mexico Pavilion, go on Grand Fiesta Tour, and meet them over there for another quick bite to eat. He was, the moment he saw it from the bridge, he was like, we're going. Yeah, this is your day. You were born on Dia de los Muertos. Jose. job. Lines aren't too long at the festival booths. <laughs> a sleeping teddy with little chocolate on his face. Um, so I got him to sleep, which is great. So a good rest and then he'll be awake for Fantasmic. That was exactly our plan is to have the boys nap later so that they'd be able to enjoy um, Fantasmic well rested. I have been on the search, as Peter has, for the Starbucks cup, the Epcot one. And I checked in Creations, because that's where it lives. And I talked to a cast member, and they said they've been sold out since the 4th of July. So if you happen to be in Epcot and you see it, please message us so we can run on over and grab one for ourselves. Um, so if you're on the lookout, that is why they have not been there. Yeah, go see. Jamesy loves this. The name of the game in the Brookhart moves is Strategery. Sarah's over by Flavors of Fire. James and I are walking through Odyssey to get a pickle shake on the way to meet her up. Uh, we did not factor this into the time constrained equation that we were going to Flavors of Fire right next to James's favorite spot in the whole world. But we have a pickle milkshake. I found a Sarah and a sleeping teddy. Good job. So many people because they know I love pickles, so they wanted to know what I think of this. So here you go. It smells good. I like how there's the dill on top. Can we keep that that cup? We heard that if you like pickles, it's not pickly enough, and if you don't like pickles, you hate it. I didn't think it was gonna be as sweet. Oh. It's more dilly, like obviously dill pickle, but like. It doesn't have like the vinegary. It's more dill, which we've heard it's made from dill gelato. Which I love dill. But you do like our traditional pickle is what, like a kosher pickle? It has like a, a sweet zing. Yeah. It's really, I like it. But I am someone who like, I like to keep my salty salty and my sweet sweet. So like, I probably wouldn't like run and get it again, but like I'm gonna drink this happily. Good, okay. and then I'm gonna hop in line for Flavors of Fire, I think while Sarah watches James E the, in the play area. Alrighty, from Flavors of Fire. This one is my favorite. I think that this one is like me. I'm so happy we started with like Peter's favorite and mine. I want to point out that the thing about food and wine is every shift, every cook is different. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you'll come to a booth and you'll get the most ridiculous outfit and sometimes it's lesser. Yeah. I will say, last year's beef that we got had more beef and function yeah. to them. It's like a little... They're pretty busy. Yeah, a little like, it's early it's like average. Yeah, so like I guarantee you we'll come back again and get one in a little slightly different ratio. Yeah. More chips, more beef, less, less, whatever. Right. 
Also, we just chatted with someone about this, about like what we thought of it, and they asked like, does it remind you of tzatziki sauce? And it kind of does, yeah. Just a little bit sweeter. Not pick, or not cucumbery. Okay, the sunset is just gorgeous. The view of the Imagination Pavilion, just gorgeous. If only a monorail just came on by. Wow, and it's monorail gold. Good old monorail gold. I used to shake my fist at you, but now I applaud you. Well, that was magical and also real. Do you know those billboards? Oh, there's something on our camera, sorry about that. Do you know that those billboards, those universal billboards are like, it's not just magic here, it's real. Obviously a dig at Disney. Yeah, and guess what Universal? This was real, this is real. Guess what This Universal? is magic and it's real. Guess what? What? You're coming for you? Halloween Horror Nights isn't even real. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get out of town. Look at the sky. Well, Teddy snoozes and relaxes in the stroller. We're gonna take the Skyliner to Hollywood Studios. Yes. Look, Yankee! We did it. Wow. We're so high up. up the Yeah. Is it good? I can hear. Bumpy. Oh, look how glorious that looks. I have to stop and look at that for a second. Absolutely glorious. But it got me nervous because it's eight sixteen and I can hear the pre-show going on at Fantasmic. Teddy is awake. This hot, this walk was a lot more human than I anticipated, which is silly because about halfway through it, I was like, I remembered like, oh yeah, that's just muck. I used to run that all the time. That's just mucky air. All right, the first leg of our journey is complete. And now off to Hollywood Studios. We did it. And I cannot get over the sky tonight. Oh my gosh. And now these are cotton candy skies. We're in the end game here, folks. We are in the end game. We're trying to get a pizza for, the for these children I before mean, Fantasmic. For me and Sarah because our bellies are not so good from that pickle shake. Yeah, that pickle shake. I'm kind of did us in. And uh, I've been sweating since I was born. <laughs> Teddy's getting some wiggles out. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Jamesy's first wave participation. Snacks galore to make us through the next 10 minutes. And we now invite you to join me and experience fantastic. Mickey!
the best malfunction ever. <laughs> so clearly that wasn't working. That was... That was good. <laughs> We did it. We did it. We did both the parks. We had this plan and we like left a little later, rolled onto property and it was raining and we were kind of like... Teddy's, Teddy's napped and was like fighting us all night. Right. And then everything fell into place. It was just I'll one of those things. Very sweaty. Yes. <laughs> the entire time. Very humid, mm -hmm. but nonetheless fell into place. Yeah. We got our favorites at the festival. I'm so excited to try like more new yeah, things. Yeah, so But like... Our like tried and true, got our festival in. We cleaned a lot of the home today. We got a vlog at it today. Mm -hmm. We live streamed today. I'm ready for bed. Yeah, it was, it was a goodie. It was a goodie. Thanks for coming along. Good to be home. It's good to be home. Well, it's good to be home in the car. Well, we're we're on Disney property so and that's home. like where that's originated from. So, so we are in fact we do in fact have the right to be an attorney. We do. <laughs> We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>